Hi, I'm Henry Peters and welcome to this edition of The Long Drive. We're at Kingswood Golf Club in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. And we're here to chat with a self-confessed petrol head, Marcus Fraser. Hey Marcus, how Hi are you? Man. Good yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Good to be back here at your old club. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's always nice coming down here and uh, of course always in good condition, so nice to be back home. Fantastic. Let's uh, head inside and have a chat, eh? It's obviously a fairly interesting car you've got there. Can you tell us a little bit about your love for uh, for motorsport and cars generally? Yeah, I mean anything that, uh, you know, with four wheels that goes fast, I'm, uh, I'm pretty keen on it. This one's, a, I think, a 2008 GDS and had a few little bits and pieces of supercharger and cam and heads done on it. Now it's uh, quite interesting, I guess, how you came to become involved in golf. Can you tell us a little bit about how you sort of fell into the sport? I left school early and wasn't really heading anywhere, I suppose, and uh, you know, just worked in a supermarket for a while and then a furniture shop and started doing some removals. Got invited to play in the junior pennant team and um, played, uh, I think, 12 months in that team. Got into the senior team, yeah, got a bit more serious about it and somehow won the Victorian Amateur, I think, in about 99 or 2000. And I guess you've come a long way. Now you're inside the top 60 in the world rankings. Got the US Open coming up. What are you hoping for there? I've played a couple of majors now and sort of feel like uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable playing in them than what I first did. Pretty nervous um, the first couple, but uh, yeah, now I feel like I, you know, I'm out there to, to try and compete um, come Sunday afternoon. Well, I'm keen to get you out in the course and uh, have a look at look at your game. Let's get out there. Yeah, why not? Well, I thought we could have uh, a bit of a putting challenge. Yep. Pick a putt, 30 feet, uh, preferably one with a bit of break, and uh, see what you're made of. All right. Okay. Here we've got a putt. It's about 35 feet. Let's, uh, let's see if you can roll one in. Is that high enough? Short, I think. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, too firm. Looks like you've uh, got my measure comfortably there. I think that's one point to you, mate. All right, perfect. Next up, Marcus shows us how to tackle the par 5 16th hole here at Kingswood. 16th hole here at Kingswood Golf Club, about 500 metres up the hill, dog leg left, so um, you know, obviously not uh, one of the longest hitters on tour, but uh, yeah, try and obviously get it down there and play, and, and mainly just trying to set up my um, third shot into the green. Yeah, should be pretty good, I think. So mate, it's just been announced that the World Cup of Golf's coming to Royal Melbourne. They're going to have it the week after the Masters, so two straight tournaments. You hoping to see yourself there? Yeah, it's you know, it's obviously a, definitely a goal that uh, I'd love to love to go to the World Cup, and especially being at Royal Melbourne. It, uh, yeah, I think it's the best golf course in, in the world, and it, uh, you know, it's a pretty special place. And it, uh, you know, obviously going to play for your country at that golf course would be pretty amazing. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Hopefully it uh, should be just short of that trap on the left. So, mate, Adam Scott's obviously someone you know pretty well. You stay at his place there over in Switzerland from time to time. What do you make of his huge success there at the Masters? Yeah, lucky enough to stay at his place last year for the tournament in Switzerland. But, um, yeah, it, uh, yeah, I mean, it was amazing that, uh, you know, to go and win the Masters, like the way he did it, um, you know, there's no one more deserving of it than, than him. But, um, obviously, he's such a good player, but, uh, you know, he's, he's a great guy to go with it. And, uh, you know, I think the sky's the limit now. But, uh, He's won one, I think you'll see he'll probably go on and win quite a few more. And you would have seen a little bit of Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods. How does he sort of compare as a player? I mean, are they sort of much the same? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think Scotty's uh, probably more consistent, I think, with his ball striking than, than those two guys. Obviously, they're both, well, they've all three have got obviously big shots in their bag. Just right of the flag, not too bad at all. So Marcus, I've got a few quirky questions I wanted to throw your way. Uh, firstly, which golfer would you least like to jump into a boxing ring with? Oh, any of them, I suppose. I uh, wouldn't like to get in there at first, but uh, probably I think Henrik Stenson. I think uh, if he hit you, I think you'd stay hit. First major, I think it uh, was St, Andrew, uh, St Andrews 2005 on that first tee. 
a story with Marcel Seam a few years ago it was pretty cool. That, uh, yeah, he lost the, lost the plot on one hole and was yelling and screaming. Quite a few times. It, uh, I've probably uh, been through about 10 or 15, I think. So, it, um, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> that's the nature of the job. Probably Royal Melbourne still springs to mind, I think. You know, it's not, just doesn't seem to be too many places quite like it. Well, mate, thanks for coming out and taking the time, playing a bit of golf and uh, lending some insight into the tour life. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoyed your time at Kingswood. Absolutely.